time for the final battle from Team Danny. With only a few gigs under his belt, 23-year-old David made a huge sacrifice to follow his dream and sing at the Blind Audition. So I've quit my job. You're kidding me. Just to be on here. Are you kidding me? I have to say, man, you got uh, some cojones coming out here and singing I my song. Your song yeah. man, I loved it. That's why I pushed my button. It's fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Come on. While for 33-year-old John James, impressing Danny with his performance was simply a case of following in the family business. My father was in a band called The Marmalade. Uh, my brother's an actor currently starring in um, Waterloo Road. You're the one to watch, man. You got a great, great tongue. You made me feel like the one. John James, he's a consummate professional, 33 years old. He's been around the block. And then you've got David, who's uh, you know wet behind the ears. As far as the industry goes, this could be David versus Goliath here. The, the chorus sound great together. What I'm figuring is that there's, I don't know if there's enough opportunity right now to let you guys blow, you know? I was thinking myself, this, this first line, you, you know? Yeah, exactly. First line. Because right now it's coming in a little bit change. dead, you know? Exactly. Yeah, it's totally. Not really showing off. If I can change the melody at the beginning of this. I'm totally open. That might. might Maybe work taking probably. a few more liberties. I feel like I'm the rookie of the, the bunch. There is a bit of insecurity, I suppose. You can hear from, from John Jay that he's got a real rasp and a real gravel to his voice, and when that comes in, your sweet tone is almost, oh no, so I, I want to see if I can just push it a little, little bit more. All right. Because I know you have it. I know you have it. <laughs> I don't know where we are going now. Same I've worked hard over the years, and I do feel like I deserve my opportunity. He's got so many strengths. He's got more than I have. I know that. Recognising David's nerves, Danny takes him aside for a pep talk. You risk it all literally coming in to do this. I feel like the newbie in the whole place as well. I'm probably the least experienced. That's, that's the thing is you don't realise how good you are. All these notes are coming out of someone that's kind of being a bit shy and a bit, you know, suppressed. Whereas, you know, you, you should be loud and proud, man. You should be hanging back, not caring. Okay. <laughs> John James has all the experience, but Dave is incredibly hungry, and it's it's going to be a fight of wills. Who can keep that level of entertainment up for that three and a half minutes? They've really turned this into a real battle. I've been in a lot of bands, I've done a lot of gigs all over the world. I've been so close to, to making it a few times, but it hasn't happened for me. But now I'm really feeling on the edge of something. I'm going to go out there, give it everything I've got, and David's not going to know what's hitting. I quit my job to come on The Voice. I'm risking everything that I have. So much riding on this thing, it's unreal. Coming up, a rock battle from Team Danny. Bring on the boys! Into the ring, a man who gave up his job for the boys. It's David Julian! Oh. He's up against the experienced vocals of John James Newman! Thinking about thinking of you Summertime, I think it was June Yeah, I think it was June Laying back head on the grass But you were talking about it too loud
ladies. That rock thing works on the ladies. <laughs> well done. Tom, what did you think of the boys? I know the stereophonics very well, and Kelly would have loved that version, and you didn't try to copy what, what he's already done to it. But, you know, with, with <laughs> seeing David with the curly hair, <laughs> Reminds me of when I first came to London because I was told because of the Beatles and the Stones and the, you know It was that time that I wouldn't make it because I had curly hair it's And a so strength. it's a strength and so exactly so I'm glad the curly hair is still alive and well So I, I, would, I would have picked David ah. Well, what did you think of the boys? The reason why people go to conscience is to escape and they need to be taken away by the person that's singing. So they, that person has to have some type of, like, authority on stage. And I saw the lacking of that. The notes are great, but when you're up against a James like that, he has this, like, authority to him when he sings. It's amazing. Sounds a bit like me, that. Uh... Yes. <laughs> okay, Jesse. I really enjoyed that. I probably just wanted to dance. I almost forgot that I was a coach. I was like, all right, calm down, babe. Um, <laughs> I literally got up, my bum was out, they were all looking, it was very weird. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoyed that, I'm looking back. I didn't turn around for either of you, but you just entertained my life. So, Jesse, if you had to, if you were their coach, who would you pick? If I was your coach, I would have taken David through. Take David. <laughs> OK, well, ultimately, Danny, this comes down to you. I've, I've enjoyed both of you immensely. You know, Dave, I hear things in your voice that, that I wish I had in mine. I really do, you know, there's a height and a purity to your tone. <laughs> but you've got John James, you've got that signature tone. You know, you've got what I came on the show looking for. <sighs> OK, Danny, who is the winner of this battle? This is probably, honestly, the hardest decision I've had to make. As Tom said, in my life. OK, Danny. Who is the winner of this battle? Personal, I'm going to take through to me live shows. David. Yeah, well David goes through to the live shows for Team Danny. Well done. John James, you OK? I feel good. I feel good. It's been a real honour to work with David. He's a superb singer. And to work for Danny as well. Yes, Great dude. Listen. Great dude. You've got a fantastic voice, dude. And honestly, I wish you the best. You're amazing. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. The reason why I went for David over John James is that I hear a magic quality that even as good as he was there, I know there's still at least another 20, 30 percent I can get out of him. And that's frightening. If he's that good now, Imagine how good he's going to be in a few weeks. Yeah!